Hey, it's John Nemo with LinkedIn Riches. I've got a really exciting new plugin I want to show you. <laughs> it's called LinMail Pro, and let me get my drawing tool out. It's this little paper airplane up here. Let me show you how powerful this is. This is a new tool that I found. It's the guy's name is Lori Tubb, and I will actually let me do this. I'm going to actually pull up Lori's profile for you, so you can find him on LinkedIn. Um, he's a nice British chap. <laughs> But anyway, this is the guy uh, who created it, and I think the website is just Linmail Pro. Whoops, LinmailPro.com. Uh, here it is. So it's LinmailPro.com. This is where you can go if you want to download it. It's not cheap. It's like I think 35 bucks a month, but it's pretty amazing. So I wanted to just show you briefly what you can do with it, and then if you want to get it, great. If not. No worries. But what's cool about LinMail Pro is, let's say I have a very targeted audience I want to reach quickly on LinkedIn, and it's my existing connections are the people I want to get to. So I'm going to take an example here from real life. So let's say you know I have thousands of connections. I wrote a post just for real estate agents, how real estate agents can use LinkedIn. Now, wouldn't it be nice if I could mail all, let's say, 500 real estate agents I have in my network uh, all at once with a one-on-one -on -one message saying, hey, thought you'd be interested. Here's a post on how you as a real estate agent can use LinkedIn. Now, normally you would have to do that by hand, right? You'd have to look up each agent in your network and find them that way, and that would be a huge pain. Now, that's what's cool about LinMail Pro. So let me show you an example. What I do is I go under Connections, and I just click on that, and then again, it's going to filter all my connections out, and if you've done what I recommend and what other people recommend, use tags, or as we say in Minnesota, a tag. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm looking for real estate agents, okay? So realtors is what I've tagged it as. So I've got a bunch of realtors in here. So what I can do is hit select all, and you can see here I've got him, Richard, tagged as a realtor. I've got Kimberly tagged as a realtor. I've got uh, Jan Eric tagged as a realtor. Joe tagged as a realtor. On and on and on it goes. And the idea behind this, of course, is... I've gone through my connections. And if you don't know how to do this, what you do is you look at a connection. So, and I can just see, right, it says right here, um, Realtor, right? So then I just click tag and then I can click Realtor and he's, a, he's now listed as a Realtor. So that's what I've done. And then I give people multiple tags. So maybe with Jim, I want to say, you know, he's also looking for sales and marketing leads or he's also a business owner and CEO and it'll add multiple tags to people. So you can see now with Jim, he's got multiple tags. Either way, this is what I want to focus on for this video is LinMail Pro. So you can see now on my LinkedIn, there's this little thing now that says LinMail and that's because I've added this Google Chrome plugin. I have the paid version and what I do is I click add checked to queue because I've highlighted all my realtors and it's going to highlight everyone on the page. So right now you can see I've got 13 pulled up here in my little mailbox and if I scroll down and add more, so let me turn off my drawing tool for a second. If I scroll down and add more and LinkedIn will automatically pull up more if, if that's available so maybe right now I've just got 13 listed but either way it's a good example it's a good sample size to work with so let me do this I'm gonna show you now behind the scenes how to actually make LinMail Pro go so what I do is I've got my contacts identified I've got 13 people I wanna send them all a one-on-one -on -one message so I go over to the LinMail Pro I click the little airplane and it opens up this tab up here. You can see the little paper airplane tab. And what's really cool about this is I can now personalize my message. And you can use these little inserts like first and last with the percentage marks. And that will put their name in. So I can say, hey, first name, thought you'd find this post really helpful. And then I'm going to say, I don't know if I'd sent this to you already but if not wanted to share so I'll fix that and I'm doing this in real time if not wanted to share since it's all about how realtors and real estate agents can utilize LinkedIn to find more uh, leads and potential clients hope it's helpful and let so then I'll just finish here hope it's helpful and let me know what you think 
and I'll put my name in. And what you'll see now when I click outside of it, you can see this preview area where it'll say, you know, hey, first name, and it's put in the first name because Richard is first on my list. Hey, thought you'd find this most helpful, and then it walks through it. Now, I've got the new LinkedIn messaging system. So depending on what system you have, if you still have the old school LinkedIn, it will give you a subject line and things. But if you've got the new LinkedIn messaging system, which you see here, Linmail Pro will note that and respond to that. So I don't put a subject line in here anymore because I don't have the old LinkedIn messaging system. So, and I'm sure soon that'll be gone. But the key is you can see at the top of the message where it says, hey, first, but again, in the actual message, it puts in their name and the message. And now over here, I've got my 13 realtors that I've identified. And if I want to remove one and say, oh, you know what? I think I already sent this to Joe or Jim or whoever. Um, I'm going to delete Jim. I don't want to send it to him. So I just delete checked. He's out of the list. And if I see, oh, they goofed up Joe's name, they put in his phone number, I can change it there. These, these fields only really matter if you're using the first or last name inserts, um, which I recommend. I, I've noticed I get a ton more response when I use someone's name in the message. And so let's actually see this in action now. So what I do is I say, yep, I've got my list over here. It's all queued up. I've got my message typed in here. It looks good. And again, um, oh wait, I forgot to put in the link, so that wouldn't be very helpful. Here is the post. And then I will go over and I will copy this. I'll actually shorten the URL up, so I'll use bit.ly here. And then I'll go back to my Linmail message, and there's the link. Um, and then it's ready to go. So I've got it all, I've reviewed it. Okay, I have a link. And notice also, guys, when I'm doing this, I'm not asking for anything. I'm trying to help them. I'm trying to bring them value by saying, hey, here's a helpful piece of content I created about how you can make more money using LinkedIn. See the difference here? I want you to notice this. And as I hit send message, Linmail Pro now starts running. And what I like about Linmail Pro is it's doing it manually. It's doing it like I would. And so you'll see it pauses between each message to more you know, simulate how we would really do this. And so you can see it already auto-populated a message to the first guy on the list, Richard, and then it's going to, in you know, 12 seconds here, send the next one. And I'll just let it run through a couple as I'm talking to show you how this works. So while it's doing this, I can be in other tabs doing other things, or I can have a different browser open. I can just leave my computer open and run. Now you'll see what happens is it's gonna go ahead and find a new person. Again, I'm already connected to Kimberly as a first level, so it can instantly go to her profile, click send message, boom, populates it in. See how it put her name in there in first? And you can see there on the other side, it's telling me, yep, okay, we got Kimberly's queued up, she's next. In 17 seconds, it's gonna move on from her down to the next one, Jan. And again, it's very, very easy to do this. Now I can go have a cup of coffee, right? And I've instantly driven traffic to a valuable piece of content on LinkedIn that they're gonna go and read this and go, well, yeah, I'm a real estate agent. John Nemo sent me a message saying, I know you're a real estate agent and you might find this helpful, right? Now it's moving over to Jan, it's gonna send him the same one, watch. So there it goes, it's, it opens him up, it populates and now it's sending. See, and what Jan will do is he'll click on the link and go, wow, yep, okay, this makes sense. I'm a real estate agent, how can I use LinkedIn? And then it walks through all these tips for him on how he can use LinkedIn and be more effective. Now, my sales pitch, so to speak, is at the very bottom of this post. I've already established you know, my authority, I've given him help, now I'm giving him an option Oh, and it's switching over to Joe. So one of the things it'll do is it'll keep bringing you back to the live tab. So you just have to tab over. And you can see my ask of these realtors is going to be to get them on my webinar, right? Because if I get them on my webinar, they, they go, yeah, that was a great post. I see at the bottom, John has even more tips. I'm going to click on the webinar link. It takes them here. They sign up for a webinar. And then my idea is get them on the webinar because, of course, once I do that, then I have a chance to teach them even more. And if they like what they see on the webinar and they sign up for that, then I have a chance to sell them my premium training, right? And now they just signed up for my webinar and now they're in my sales funnel. See how this works? And all of it's because of this little guy here, Linmail Pro. And again, I do this, I've built it up where I can send hundreds of these a day. Now I will warn you, if you try to do, if you go from sending two or three LinkedIn messages a day to getting Linmail Pro and trying to send 500 messages, you'll get flagged by LinkedIn. 
So don't do that. You know, Lori Tubb, the creator, was very helpful to me saying, okay, you got to build slowly. So if you normally only send five messages a day, start your first day and send 10. And then send 20 the next day, 30, 40, 50. Just scale it up. So LinkedIn, again, their automated system is going to go, oh, okay, this guy's sending an average of 10 a day. Okay, 20, 30. It's a gradual increase. There's not any red flags going off. So that's important to know because I don't want you to get locked out by LinkedIn or flagged. It's like anything else, right? If you don't abuse it, you're going to be fine. And again, because I'm sending these people helpful, relevant content, again, there's no sales pitch in this message. I'm trying to help Scott get more clients by sharing valuable content. He's not going to be upset with me. Right? He's not going to be like, damn it, how dare you try to get me more business? How dare you try to help me without asking for anything in return? That's the key. Uh, what I'm going to try to really illustrate here is with Linmail Pro or any other approach on LinkedIn, don't go in trying to sell people immediately. Go in bringing them something of value. And then the way it really works well, again, and you can see as it's running through my 13 people, what it's doing is it's bringing value to a target specific audience, another realtor, sending him a direct message. So I can do this over and over and over again. So now let's say I have a post that I want to aim at sales professionals. And so I'll go in and say, yeah, okay, I want to look by tag and I want to look by, let's say financial, right? I want to hit people in the financial sector. So I'll say, yep, I want to select everyone in the financial sector. And what I'm going to do first to stop Linmail, either you can let it run and finish sending all the messages or you just hit stop. And then what it'll do is it'll tell you, okay, just go into the live window and just right click it and close tab. And once I do that, then it stops. And Linmail has paused. It's like, okay, John told me to stop. I'm going to say, you know what, I'm done with the realtors. I'm going to delete them out. I want to add in a new message for sales professionals. So maybe I have that ready to go and I just copy and paste here. Hey, you know, first name, uh, you know, or this is for financial. Thought you'd love this as it's, you know, all about financial help, as it's how financial professionals can get more leads using LinkedIn. Do you see how targeted and how niche this messaging system is, right? And then I would put my post in here, I would put my outro, whatever it is, a link to the post. And you don't have to link to content on LinkedIn, you can link over to your website, a white paper, a video, anything you want, right? Because as a one-on-one -on -one message, I can send people anything I want. Now again, the way it works with Linmail Pro is I go over here, let me get back to my contact page, you can see, all these folks have the tag financial somewhere in there. I've gone through, I've tagged all these contacts. Now I go up under my little menu where it says Linmail and I say add check to queue. Okay, it's added the first 20 people. If I scroll down, and this is what I was going to show you earlier, it'll keep adding people. It'll keep populating the page until it runs out of tags for financial. So what I do is I can see, oh, okay, yeah, I, I want to go more than 20. I want to go till I get through every single contact for financial. So let's say now I've I don't know, I've probably loaded 80 names, right? Let's see. So then I go up here and I just go Linmail add checked and you'll see the number has changed. And so let me show you. It's now loaded in 145 people into the queue because as I've scrolled down, it's just kept adding these guys because again, they're checked here, right? And now if I go over to my Linmail dashboard, you'll see um, it's saying, oh, okay, we're not going to add this guy twice. You already had him in the queue, so I'm not going to add them again, which is great. It's smart enough to know it won't send someone a double message if you accidentally try to add them twice. So now I can see I've got my list of 145 financial people. And I will do the exact same thing. I can go through. I can say, ah, this person, I don't want them on there. Let's delete them. The rest of them, again, I can send them all a one-on-one -on -one message with a link with value. And it's a great, great way to do one-on-one -on -one personalized marketing, again, bringing value first. I cannot state that enough. So definitely give it a shot. I've I've really enjoyed using this. I don't get any affiliate commission or anything like that. Um, I just, I've been a fan of it. I met Lori on LinkedIn uh, and he's been great. So this is the guy's name. If you have questions, Lori Tubb. I'll also open up the uh, linmailpro.com is the site. 
Oh, I spelled it wrong again. But this is it. You can see he's got more video trains and tutorials on here. It also has a whole thing where you can actually send automatic personalized invites as well. So it's a pretty cool deal. I mean, in addition to the messaging tool, you can also do, you know, 100 invites a day where you're sending a personal invite to financial advisors. And you can do the same thing here where you kind of put in, you know, personal invite type text with their name. Hey, Joe, wanted to connect. I work with financial advisors. So again, great, powerful tool. Wanted to share that with you because as you guys know, I'm all about making it simpler, saving you time on LinkedIn. So thanks for watching. If you give LendMail Pro a shot, let me know how it goes. And yeah, we'll talk more with you soon.